long. This is part two. Part one, we got cut off, but part two, we're gonna make this a lot better, right? I remember, you know, uh, reading the book for, for women and men and how our bodies are, you know, are designed differently. Uh, you know, they, 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 they label a lot of their problems to their hip width, right? Like ACL injuries and stuff like that. Like, yeah. could fashion be part of that as well? Yeah, so, yeah, so my, my understanding is not, the, it's not that. I yeah. mean, imagine, imagine God created women and then somehow just made them injury prone. That doesn't make sense just because they have a bigger hip. You know, it doesn't make sense. But what is actually, uh, in my opinion, what's happening is that, number one, when when they go through a menstrual cycle, they're still playing sports. They're supposed to be rest. Because when you go through a menstrual cycle, your, your uh, estrogen level is going to be high. So mm -hmm. estrogen will change the, the ankle stiffness. Mm -hmm. Then they basically performing with a altered gait during those period of time. So if you ask them to, you ask the female athlete to perform, guess what? They're gonna have injury, especially soccer athletes. And then the second factor is that, the second factor is that currently in Division One programs, they ask the women, the girls, to live three times a week. Now, when you live three times a week, you're going to uh, you're going to create fascial adhesions in the body because your body don't repair fast enough. Yeah. So then the, the the fascia fiber itself is all disorganized. So you basically also experience the muscle delayed onset soreness. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that the, mic the micro tears. Yes, micro tears that that also causes causes the, the soreness. Guess what? There's a study already. I mean, this is pretty standard stuff that that domes decreases performance, poor coordination, poor stability, and poor force production. Uh, force production. So, so let, me, let me interrupt you. So you're telling me that like it throws off proprioception. Exactly. Exactly. But it's still being done. I mean, there's nobody speaking up about this. But. Because you you have you are introducing damages to the body. What is lift, weightlifting? Weightlifting is damaging to your muscle. It has to tear the muscle to repair, right? To repair to get bigger, so you can get the bigger muscle. Exactly. But if you're constantly doing it, you're constantly creating inflammation. I mean, when we study the fascia tissue, we always constantly measuring the stiffness. Mm -hmm. If you are constantly lifting weight, guess what? There's this very distinct. A distinct the result of the difference is that the people who lift a lot of weights constantly they are chronically tight in their muscle so that let's say i'm sitting down here talking to you right i touch my muscle it's tight it's it's hardened already mm -hmm. this is at rest however when i start to exercise guess what my muscle gonna fatigue and they're gonna become soft yeah however if you are fascial driven your yeah. muscle it's off it's opposite so that means at rest, you touch it, it's soft. But when you start exercising, you touch your body, it's hard. Yo, yo Chong, you're under something, man. No, no, dude, you're, you're, when you talk, man, like when you say, oh, they, you know, <laughs> I love when you put this on every single one of your posts. Uh, if they remove 22 pounds of uh, kilos, uh, of kilos from from a car <laughs> like could you explain that because I, I don't know if people really know what you're talking about yeah so so i make an analogy right i mean just yeah. because people don't understand what this fancy stuff what is this fashion stuff but really what is happening is let's say if you're a you're, you're a machine consider yourself your machine right yeah. and then somebody says lance let me go inside let me let me take something apart right and then they took out 22 kilo, which is about roughly 40 pounds. Let's say just 40 pounds, right? Yeah, yeah. They took out 40 pounds of material from you, right? Now, when, we, when they say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make your body better. But guess what, Lance? I don't know what that 22 kilo of stuff that took out does. All right? So does that alarm you? It does. Okay. Yeah. So that's how you should be alarmed because if a car mechanic says that, okay, I took out, you know, this many parts, but I don't know what it does, but I'm going to put it back and I'm going to make your body better. Now, is that, is that, is that, a, what, what do you think that the answer will be? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they, 
so think about it. I, me personally, my belief is that, you know, Western, Western civilization, Western medicine, the way we approach things is we compartmentalize things. We think that, hey, this one ingredient inside of this one herb, this one mineral is good. So we're going to remove that mineral. And now you have the best part of that herb. It's like, no, like you got to eat the whole herb because it expresses itself the best way, most likely. Right. Because it's a yes. it's a synergistic situation, not not a that one uh, isolated thing. Yes. And, but no, it, it raises concern. It raises concern because it's like, because you don't know what it does, it must not be good. So therefore I took it out. <laughs> right. The, 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 it's, it's a, I think it's like, we're trying to play. We are trying to be above God. We're, we're trying to think that we know better, even better than the creator that natural, or, or we know more than what nature knows, which is very arrogant. Okay. But it's also, shows how little do we know because we're suffering the consequence today i mean look at how many women have repeated uh, uh girls uh, having repeated uh, up to 12 times acl torns they're doing the same thing that's they, go, going back to doing the rehab doing the same thing and that's a huge uh a problem on the healthcare system you know, like like recently, did you hear the news that the the CEO of United Healthcare he, he he got shot? Talk about it. Yeah, he got shot, right? Because you know what? A lot of times, as a physical therapist, they reject your claims, <laughs> right? So there's like, oh, mm -hmm. I I think this patient needs more sessions. No, I'm not gonna give you the money for it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. But you know, that's that's the system, man. Trust me, they they'll. They'll do the same thing because uh, because it's either they don't know better or it makes them more money to continue to do the same thing, right? But you know, for me, that's 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 asinine, man. That that's wild to 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 not see the flaws in what you do. It's like who are you to to, to think that you're not flawed? Like that that's wild. And you always got to be correcting self. You always got to be retesting, even though this knowledge we have today. It may change a little bit next week, but we have to adapt to that. <laughs> right. I mean, you look at you. You look at Tesla. You let, look at iPhone. You look at how these industries change in the last ten years. But you look at rehab. It's the same thing. You do the same exercise. Oh, squat, deadlift, uh, hip hinge. The same thing, because you're you're only understanding the body from the muscle perspective. You're not taking care of the the mental the the uh, the fascia properties, the fascial connections, you you don't care about any of those. So that's why it's the same thing over and over again. This is why we we invested a lot of money and a lot of time into understanding the fascial system. Yeah. You know, this whole time I thought it was like the nerves being fine tuned and fire at a at a much better rate is what makes you still be skinny but move faster right that, that was my whole belief i don't know where i think i, I think i actually learned did i learn what did i learn that I forget exactly where i learned it you know? well they call but, it it's neuromuscular it, it is it is partially correct but they, they yeah. they're discounting 22 kilo of material at work yeah yeah man that that's you know that that's a thing that you know where we need to go study the tribes like the maasai tribes and and, un and and see how they train, how they were raised and, and how they grew up and how they how their their uh, environment, the epigenetic environment for them works in their favor. If we really want to maximize and, you know, um, peak, uh, get, get to that genetic peak. Right. You know, I, I don't I me personally, I don't want to be like a Brian Johnson. I love Brian Johnson. You know who this is, Brian Johnson? Is that is that the guy who 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 recently? Uh, well, well, no, Brian Johnson. Is that the guy who who quit the NFL because of uh, problems? No, no. So Brian Johnson is the guy that uh, that takes a bunch of supplements to live longer. Like oh, does. that oh, the, 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 oh, okay, that white dude. Yeah, like, like I like I have nothing against him. You know, I, I think he's courageous for what he's doing. But me personally, you know, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would much rather go a natural route than than doing that. Right? I would much rather. And this is not me because I really don't want anyone to think that I'm hating on the guy. It's just that I think there's another way. I just think there's another way, right, to, to, to slow down the way we age when it comes to telomeres and all that stuff, right? Like, 
And I think one of those missing things is the fascia. We don't understand that. Does fascia keep the, the skin tight? Is, is, is Does collagen and fascia have some type of relationship? Oh, yes. Like, what does. is that? It, so it, let's it, talk about that. Yeah, it's the hyaluronic acid. That, that's something that pharmaceutical company knows this for, they know it for many, many years. 